adult yeah. car. So at the end of last year, retailers did report that they had a slightly stronger um, end to last year, although obviously everybody found last year pretty tough. Um, and I think that has obviously encouraged parents to buy the brands, the names that they've known themselves, they know and love. Towards the um, end of last year, they, they came through very strongly. But a lot of the new smaller companies have the innovation. We have both of those kinds of companies here. And all of that is actually coming through um, into this year as people are obviously selecting their products to having stores for the rest of 2010. Static. I've, I've been practicing yoga for over 12 years and this is my first official Guinness World Record, so it's a good day. This new, this new yo-yo, this 300 pound yo-yo, the world's most expensive is the Duncan MG. It's made from the best materials in the world. So it's made from forged magnesium and also ceramic bearing. Makes it play better than any other yo-yo in the world. And also things are coming back to basics now. So I think toys have come full circle. So it's gone back to basics, basic skill toys. And it's quite refreshing to know that kids aren't sitting in front of a computer screen, numbing their minds. They're back to basic playing with yo-yos, boomerangs, all the basic skill toys. This yo-yo is more precise of a, of a production, so you find that you don't feel any vibration when you're playing with it on the string. You also find that you end up with much longer spin times. Last year, Lego grew uh, nearly 40%, and that's off the back of growing significantly the year before. Um, so we were delighted with our performance in a tough climate last year. This year, we're going to continue that growth with three key themes that we're introducing. The first one is Lego Atlantis, um, which is an underwater theme. Um, we also have the Toy Story license, so we'll have a full range of Lego Toy Story products coming out. Uh, also some new ones in time for the movie. Uh, Toy Story 3 and then also a new range of Star Wars products that are coming out as well which will really continue to help drive some of the growth for LEGO.
It's a cross between a stepper and a skateboard. And most people are aware of the stepper from being in the gym and you know actually exercising on it. And um, what this differs to a regular stepper is obviously we have the wheel, the wheels underneath it, which are um, enable you to go um, quite fast. Apparently, 20 kilometres per hour is the top speed we've had off the.